Moving on, Camp David near Washington, D.C. in the United States has become something of a symbol for the landmark peace agreements. With U.S. presidents down decades enabling some historical treaties between intense rivals here. A similar mantle is being donned by China these days, bridging some big divides in the realm of modern geopolitics. So is China the new Camp David? Take a look at this report. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi hosts his Ukrainian counterpart Dmitro Kuleba in Guangzhou, South China. China presents itself as a neutral party in the Russia-Ukraine war. And the outcome of this meeting tells a story. The Ukrainian FM signals a readiness to resume negotiations with Russia. Ukraine, he says, values Beijing's efforts. He calls the talks rational and meaningful. Down the last few months, China has looked to paint itself as a mediator in the war, sending its envoy to Europe on multiple rounds of what it termed shuttle diplomacy. Telling Hungary's Viktor Orban of the need for world powers to restart direct negotiations. Calling for a political settlement of the conflict. Could China then be the catalyst to a solution? Recently, both Russia and Ukraine have issued signals of varying degrees regarding their willingness to negotiate. Although the conditions and timing are not yet mature, we support all efforts that contribute to peace and are willing to continue to play a constructive role in a ceasefire and the resumption of peace talks. Extend the Camp David idea to the Fatah-Hamas bridge facilitated by Beijing. Fatah and Hamas signed the Beijing Declaration at the closing ceremony of a reconciliation dialogue among 14 Palestinian factions held in China's capital from the 21st to 23rd of July. Today we sign an agreement for national unity and we say that the path to completing this journey is national unity. We are committed to national unity and we call for it. The Palestinian national schism has defied all attempts at mediation since 2007. Though far from complete just yet, there are visible signs that China takes on the Camp David mantle. China is ready to strengthen communication and coordination with all relevant parties, make continuous efforts to implement the Beijing consensus reached today and play a constructive role in safeguarding peace and stability in the Middle East. It probably started here, the surprise thaw between Iran and Saudi Arabia brokered by China in March last year. Bitter rivalry between Tehran and Riyadh had destabilized several West Asian countries, including Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Yemen and Bahrain. A 2001 security cooperation agreement was reactivated in Beijing, and it spoke volumes about what someone described as the new post-American Gulf era. Does Camp David have a new avatar? Bureau Report, Beyond World is One.